Act 2, in which Christopher actually uses the right Facebook account to log in and live to. And yes, you're in the same boring old railway as I'm always at. <laughs> well, I don't think it's boring, I like it, but you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's just better than it looks. It's better than it looks. No. Right, now we'll see if we get anyone in. Both when I try to do it to the wrong account. I do need a drink, though. Alright. So I'm hoping that's appearing right for everyone. If not, then I'm in a world of trouble. Yeah, we're doing. We'll see that arrive. That's it. It's a little bit to know that moment. It's going to come along those important Okay, so I go on on here. Is that going to show me something different? Is that going to let me interact? Here. Hello Andy Cummins! How are you sir? Can you hear me? I'm sorry, I've only tried this Facebook Live thing once before and it's... Ah yes, hope you're well. I am indeed, thank you. How are you sir? Excellent. I'm glad. Uh, sorry, I've only tried this once before and I don't know how it all works, you know. So, uh, a bit of trial by, trial by fire here. But I just figured some people that might know some updates that are going on with you know, the layout and if this works and I can do perhaps do a couple more Facebook ones as opposed to YouTube ones. Excellent! Splendid! Well, I, start, I have to start with a bit of bad news, I'm afraid, folks. I say folks, I only mean the watching, I think. Um, I would have had a nice new train to show you. This. And unfortunately, it will run smoothly for a bit. Really quiet, you know, as quiet as any of the Kato product. And then it gets seriously noisy, like something's rubbing or not right. Um, it, does, it seems to happen more when the powered unit's leading. You know, it's a two-car set. When the powered unit's leading, it seems to happen more quickly. But if it's in reverse, pushing the trailer, as it were, it, um, it can run for quite some, some time. You know, And then it's only if you stop it and then start it again, it'll then start doing it. But I looked underneath it, as I thought, first of all, oh, perhaps I need a drop of oil. So I put the tiniest little drop of oil in it, it seemed to be alright for a bit, so I started doing it again. Um, but I looked underneath it this time, and there were lots of little black specks all along the bottom of the driving unit, um, which wiped off pretty easily. I, I pushed them between my fingers like that, you know, to sort of try and get some feeling of what they were. 
and you didn't really get anything with it, they were just too small to get really register proper feeling on my fingers, so I think, as it was brand new, it's going to have to be a return. Um, it's just a shame, I'd, li I'd like to think I could fix it myself, but I don't have the first clue what's going on with it, to be honest. I mean, I can put it on if you want to see it, I mean, we're not going to do any more damage than has already been done. <coughs> If you like to see and hear it make the noise. It's one of the glorious things about the Panda Express is it's easy to take on and off. But in, in happier news, I have begun converting all my stock over to gear tower failure. Oh, what's the, which bit's the gear tower? Hang on, let's, let's have a look, shall we? Because If I can fix this, I'd rather fix it. I don't want to cause Keith at train tracks any any headaches, basically, because he's he's a nice guy and he, he he does an awful lot to help his customers out. I I know this from experience. Let's get the instructions out. If I I can put I can put it on and you can hear it. And it'll probably be quiet for a bit. <laughs> Cause it usually is when it hasn't moved for ages. Right. So I'd like to, I'd like to fix it if I can. Alright, here's the instruction sheet. It's cool, it's got, it gets uh, wing mirrors, it's fun. And there's no body, there's no exploded parts diagram on it. What, which bit's the gear tower, Andy? Sorry, I'm still a novice when it comes to some of these terms and things. Um, but a willing student. A very willing student. Alright, let's take, let's take Panda Kurashio off. Let's put it across the cork there. Which I am trying to stop doing because my houses, my houses for Oh, the house to try at the size of the house and the corner shop are actually on their way. Uh, along with um, another Luno, Lunoco and a new station. Need one of these. Because um, this one is. Oh, that's not on properly. You see, it's as quiet as anything. I've run it in. Gear train within the bogies. All oh, right. Okay, well, I have had the bogey off already because I thought it was... I wanted to see how noisy the motor was on its own. And that was pretty quiet. So, yeah. So, if I run it for a bit and we'll see if it does it because it's beautiful. I mean, it's not... It's nothing special as such. I mean, I ran it in without the trailer, initially. Let's see if we go to it. So in this direction, it's the noise it gets noisy quite quickly. There. I'll be quiet so you can hear it. I mean, it's not too noisy now, but it, it does get noisy. A gear train within, oh, the gear train within the bogey, right, yes, yes. So, I don't know if we stop it and send it the other way, it's going to be quieter. Yeah, no, it's sort of a bit done for. So it's had an hour in each direction without the um, without the trailer as well. So okay, so if I stop it, 
stop it again then. I don't want to do too much damage to it. Yeah, there we are. I don't know if it's going to pick it up on the camera. But if you look just for the centre, there's a black line. And there's another black speck to the left of that. So just here. And then a bit further on. Cast down the light. That's the black specks that were coming off. Yeah, I can see on my screen over there now. I mean, if I wipe that. Yeah, they're hard. That one's big enough to feel. I can feel that. It's hard. And it does wipe. They do wipe off. Oh, that's cool. You can turn the lights on and off. Oh, can you do that new one? Yeah, that's cool. You can actually turn the lights off so you want to run them in flat plastic. Yeah. So that's that's a send back job then, is it? Rather than me trying to fix it, then if the gears are stripping each other or whatever. There's nothing I can, I don't think I can do anything about that myself, can I? It's a shame because, as I say, it's, a, it's not everything can be as special as the Twilight Express or the Panzer Train, you know, but I, I think it's quite, a, quite an attractive little unit with the green and the blue on it and everything. Full seating inside. So it's very unusual for Kato, I've got to say. Very unusual for Kato. Um, well, as, you, as you know, I know you, you, you use Kato, don't you? Um, possible to try with the body from room. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure. I'll run it on its own. I won't put the other unit behind it. Um, it's going to be a... There's me instruction sheet. It might tell me how to do it. Let's have a look. Hold on. Incredibly unusual for incredibly unusual for Kato. But let's have a go at getting this body shot off then. I say because I fixed the uh, PF two hundred myself. I was quite pleased about that. Hello Dale. How are you, sir? Doing this gets more incognito. <laughs> right, let's just get that flex done. You have to use that on the UF200 as well. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's
don't want to. They don't want to come. That's it. I'm going to take a try. Emails coming in now. Oh, what's this? You're invited to play anime live. Are oh, you indeed? <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh, I'm just trying to make that come true. Right. Let's see what we can do. It's a uh, how are you, David? Sorry, did you hit? Did that go through? Right. So I'm just trying to. The coupling cord. Now, what we're working with. So it doesn't actually tell you how to remove the body shell. Right, you can actually, you're meant to be able to get inside here because you're meant to be able to do the uh, change out destination boards and things. Can't imagine it's too difficult. Everything facing that way. Sorry, so I try to also do it without breaking it. Well, I've got the We're about to start getting in mid. Right. Okay. 
Right, so I've got this bit. Um, so that's the motor exposed. I'll put the uh, wheels back on now. So we can run it. I think that's as close to case off as we're going to get. Um, so the control we need to put the case off there. Okay, so here we are. So now I can run it case off. So far, so good. I wonder if there's any more noise than normal trains, to be honest. I can try attaching the trailer again to it now, see if it does it again, with the trailer on again. That's just stopped. That's just stopped dead. Just, just a bit worrying about these small bits of plastic. Yes. Let's see what it does now. Because it's a hey, in this direction, with the motor unit leading, it doesn't take long for it to start making the noise. So far is the current school of thought. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that, as it is now. Now, obviously, I can hear it more acutely than you guys probably can. I don't know how good the sound's coming through, but um, if I close off the computer here. Then it takes out all the background noise, and I'll just sh I'll shut up and bar for a bit.
I mean, because that's about as much noise as I'd expect from a, a normal model now. I'll try putting it back together again and see what it does. Oh! Hi Kyle. Is there a is there any wear points in the chassis space to drive train make make? Yes, I've just spotted one on here. Now ignore the streak, that's that was me. But you see here there's like a mark. There. Cause that's running sweet as a nut now. How are you, Carl? I hope you're well. I'm tempted to try and put it back together, you know, and let's see what I can use the direction. Ah. It's doing it again. Okay, so if I... Yeah, now it's doing it. So if I uncouple those... If I run the, if I take the drive out, drive wheel out, I'll just place the front wheels on the, on the track. That's the noise from the motor. I wouldn't say that was that bad. So something in there then. I'm not too bad, thank you. Yes, I'll be even better if this engine would work. <laughs> this train would work. Um Okay, well let's Let's trick apart the bokeh and see the many signs of wear and tear. to get it doesn't seem to really want to come apart I 
second. Hang on, let's let's get chat open on something I can actually read. Too far away. Respect the gears, yeah. Eating tree dogs, nice. All right, I can see the comments now. Gears on the main bit seem to they look alright to be honest, but somehow I can't. Let's sit down and try this. And get a really good light on them. Yeah. Oh, I seem alright. Right, sorry, I'm not able to see the chat at all. Yeah, so I've got I've got the I'll show you. I've got the uh my light I am. Well those gears look pretty good to me. I've seen free turning enough in that bit, so we'll put take this bit over here again. Now look at the drive shaft.
That flat plastic had to be coming from somewhere. And this is the uh, this is the other bogey. This is the actual bogey itself. Oh, hello. We have a escapee. Again, to me, it looks like it's all pretty well. My mind. When the bogey is back in place and chassis, is it making good contact with the drive mechanism? Also, is the bogey retained? No, so it's forward and back. Okay, we will. I will remount it and find out for you. So that's that uh, into there. And this small one goes into the socket on that. Yep, that's all working. Right, and then into the chassis. So the that goes into that bit. All right, the only movement I've got there, uh, Andy, is that if I if I move my hand forward and back like that, that's what it does is rock, and then that's turned all the way one way when it comes back, all the way the other way. I don't start this rubbish. There we go. So, all looks like it's doing it's what it should. Um, I think I'll just turn the lights off, but at least it gets that piece back in there. Just take the front photograph again, so I just want to get, keep it as together as possible. Bogey on again. That's it. Okay. Right. So again, we'll just run it on its own. Whatever that is, it can go away. Okay. So.
Turn the lights back on. Right, okay. Right, so it's because then we should be able to see it collecting the debris underneath it. Okay. Oh. See again I wouldn't call that any more noises than usual. Yeah, it looks fine. I mean, it could just, could it just be this model is, is noisy, the trouble is the noise it was making the other day, is it Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. It was, I could hear it, um, I popped downstairs quickly, I could, I could hear it going from down there. And usually I can only ever hear this layout downstairs when there's a really heavy train on the go, there's you know, loads of wheels rolling. And then it's just a clackety clack with the rumble. Right, before it makes a noise, shall I let's have a look underneath? And the bumpy has appeared. Okay, let's put the trailer back behind it again. I don't know what to say. I'll say thank you, Andy, for taking your time to work through these steps with me. I have no idea. What I will try and do, though, is get you a bit of a bit of a lower view. light feature. I mean the, the front lights and then the destination board light up as well. I might just go see the destination board that comes past. And I'll let it go around so you see the tail lights which I can see and the, and the rear destination board. Nice little feature there. So if you can see that. Yeah because you can see it there. But yeah. That seems fine though, doesn't it? How, how weird is that? So yes, for those who are interested, this is the Kato 10-1437.
Ainokazi Toyama uh, 521 series. That's the, there's the wording for you. Or the product number. And now I've actually come to learn today. Is this some like the, um, some like Love of the Wind or something like that service? Or wind rider service sort of thing, yeah. There are a couple of transactions, I'm just trying to draw the average. <laughs> but yeah. Right in that case then, I have got a new train to show you. Here we are. <laughs> the series 521. Oh, thank you very much, Andy. I, I'm, so I'm, I'm not... If it starts making horrific noises again, I'm not going to hold you to account or anything. I do, but I appreciate your efforts in assisting me with this. There's an absolute ton of details to fit to this. I'm not sure I can actually get them all on and get it in the box still. Because um, there's wing mirrors to go on it. <laughs> Something that attracted me to the model in the first place. But I'm going to need to know how to get the body off properly. Body off properly, because I say there's destination boards to, to go in the top and that. Yeah, I brought it because obviously not everything can be special like the Panda Kurashio here, or even this 6000 series DMU which is uh, wrapped especially in the Golden Panzer scheme. Uh, I do have the, the 6000 series powered unit coming so... Hopefully it can share duties with this a bit. Um, or the Twilight Express, you know, it's on my, it's, I'm, ca I'm ca calling this a regular train. Um, I'm going to get some really sort of, if you like, boring um, <laughs> commuter trains at some point. They are basically just painted either vermilion, green or red. I think there's a yellow one somewhere as well. But um, it's the bread and butter of Tokyo commuter services which is if I get around to building the big land now that's up in the air again I'll up it's up in the air in a minute because um, obviously I'm focusing on this one those of you remember my stream I'm focusing on this one the micro layout anyway but today very pleased to say one two things one I paid off my car my car is now actually all mine that is mine <laughs> my car um, and I have ordered myself a television I've never brought a television before, so it's rather exciting going in and choosing. Um, and it's going to be fitted. Now, I'm having it fitted professionally by the by the store. So I've got to do some serious straining up in here, make it look presentable. <laughs> and basically the way it works is I tell them which room, which wall. They come in, fit it, and I basically ha can't go in the room until after they've been and gone. So, it, it, yeah, that's how it's getting, that's how the, the whole... Covid things working here with that. Um, now I'm hoping for it to go on the dark green wall that some of you may have seen in some of my streams which is actually over here, over that direction. If that happens everything's ideal, everything's fine. If not it's going to have to go on the wall where you see the course, you see the boxes there here at the end. I have to go on that wall and then we have to move the bed round and unscrew the chest of drawers this sits on from the wall move that across the room <sighs> yeah it's going to be an absolute mammoth task to to do so yeah um so i'm hoping because it's a plaster because the reason it might have to be do that is that's a plasterboard wall over there and i I have had in the past it was a shelving 
on there. There were four shelves on there at one point, the big MDF things. And there was also a cabinet there the whole time. So I think it is actually a pretty strong wall. But they're going to come and test and make sure it's going to be suitable to mount the bracket on. Otherwise, we'll have to reorganise another day and I'll have to get my whole room turned around in that time. Which I'm really hoping I don't have to do, of course. But, uh... The... The bracket's already here. <laughs> Couple other bits and pieces are already here, so yes, I'm I'm looking forward to it, but I'm just a bit apprehensive. But I've got I'll find out Wednesday, so I've only got a day to wait really. But I've got a day to sort out stuff in here. It's not too bad. It just needs basically the area they're going to work clearing and the area on this side of clear oh, tidying up. I might leave the train running for them. You never know. <laughs> they can tell me if they think it's noisy. Um, no, just joking. So, yes, so obviously uh, Big Layout is going to have to wait until I find out if it's going to be over here. Or I've actually got more room, or over there, but I haven't got as much room. So, uh, yeah. So, yes, we... It's all fun, isn't it? <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, hopefully, all goes to plan. So, no, hope is the first step on the road to disappointment. Hopefully it all goes to plan and we can have a nice big layout in here. And what I would like to do is some sort of representation of the of the Tokyo um, outer suburb stations. Lots of commuter trains. The freights are coming through still. Lots of commuter trains going through as well. Lots of different services and stuff like that. Um, not modelling anywhere specifically in Tokyo, but uh, yeah. The station will be called Tokyo something, you know. Well, that's it. I'm quite embarrassed now because that seems to be working absolutely fine. I'm also very happy. Uh, thank you very much, Andy, by the way. But yeah. And also, of course, we've got the Steam specials as well. We could, I could run. But yeah. <laughs> not time we on. That not taking me an hour, is it? Oh no, they're quite quite So how 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 are those chili dogs, Dale? <laughs> Just thinking, it could be something incredibly stupid, could it? Like the gears had some flash on them and it's the sound of the flash being worn off and that's what's coming up underneath that's why some of it was too flimsy to feel when I initially felt it Oh, there's only one person watching. Is that me? Yeah. Oh, I'm pleased that's working though. But I think with its with its intermittent actual working, uh, even though it does start being really noisy again, I think I am just gonna. Leave, I won't trouble Keith. If it starts really doing it, at worst, I could get another one. <laughs> and couple them together 
turn, because you've got the option to turn these, I can turn this unit's lights off, the, the, this end on the other unit's lights off, and just turn the motor out. Now I know how to get to the motor, just take the motor out, and uh, I've got a, an unpowered unit being pulled on the, on the strength of the other one. Your touch on the gears. Hopefully your train behaves itself. Must go. I'll see you later. Well, thanks very much for coming, Andy, and thank you very much for all your all your help. Um, hopefully we've got it cracked. But no, thank you very much, sir, and sleep well. Take care, and I hope to speak to you soon. Um, it's, it's been quite pleasant actually. There's three people in, and I've sort of got used to the Facebook Live thing now. It's Thank you very much. Yeah. It's absolutely perfect for a layout of this size, I think. Absolutely perfect. Can I? Ah! Hello, Simon. Welcome, sir. The 521 has been the subject of tonight's stream so far, my friend. Um, making horrid noises and Andy Cummins has very kindly been working through steps tr trying to um, trying to problem solve with it with it, with it with it with me and we seem to have it cracked at the minute so I'm just, just enjoying it running and you've got the pantograph up for the first time ever and how are you sir I hope you're well I'm just concerned. In fact, this TV is 55 inches long. Imagine the prom. <laughs> I'm well, I think you. That was great ripping around. I think, yeah, thank you very much. I, I, I'm inclined to agree with you, good sir. So basically, folks, the, um, the screen size I've gone for is the same length as, as, as this layout. <laughs> 55 inch TV, that is as obscene for this room. But hey. It's gonna be good fun. It's gonna be good fun. Because why not? Hey, okay. future proof, innit? I'll be able to, you know, when I move out, I'll be able to take it with me. You know, I've got a TV at least. Decent size. No, I'm quite, pl I'm quite pleased with this. Oh! Just had a email. It's where I'm starting to run out of devices to look at. Should I check my emails? Two PM tomorrow, okay, that's cool. More plastic crap to mark coming tomorrow. Good, good, good. Yes, I'm gonna pop into work tomorrow morning and get a uh, get a a cable out of the office and get it posted off to someone. Um, but then, the rest of my day is gonna be spent keeping an eye on my emails and so on, and uh, yeah. Clearing, clearing room in here, ready for the, the new TV, as I say. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to brag, honestly. I, I, 
Um, those of you who know the circumstances, this money's come to me under. Um, yeah, I'd rather not have it. I'd rather have. I'd rather have them back. But, uh, there's no real pleasure in it. So that's why I'm trying to invest it in some good things rather than just buying. You know, blowing it all my trains. A new TV, yes, a new TV. It's to go on the dark green wall that you've sometimes seen behind me, over over yonder, that way. Yeah. I say I rather stupidly chose a 55 inch TV. It will fit. It will fit, but it's going to dominate that wall. <laughs> Welcome back, Kyle. Lots of managers end up working tomorrow. About some mechanics for a few days to clear some dirt. Ah, excellent. Well, excellent. You got some work, and hopefully you you know, manage to stay safe and everything. So, can you try, Kyle? Yes, it's uh, it's running a lot better than that. Isn't it? It's running a hell of a lot better than it was. Now, I just want to point out, guys, that. I have seen it run this long, actually longer than this, um, without going noisy, but only in the other direction. In this direction, it's got noisy by now. But, uh, yes. I can't want to be meant to you, but I need the money. I'm oh, sorry to hear that, mate. Yeah, like I said, I'm not. I don't mean. Don't mean to brag at all. I'm not. It's very exciting because I've not done it before. I've brought one of these, but uh, let's keep all this stuff safe. Actually, let me go. Yes. So, um, in some in some interesting news, <laughs> I did I did use some of my normal work money earnings, and I have ordered something from Japan, and it is some more couplings um, of the knuckle variety, the Kato knuckle couplings, and also. Rather awesomely, a, uh, a a bus, a coach. I I'd I'd call it a coach myself. Looking at it, but it's a but they call it a bus. So it's, we'll go with their term of bus. When it comes, it may be too small to be a coach. But it's decorated up like the for the uh, panda train, the panda crush here. So it's obviously the bus that takes you from the station to the wildlife park. And I thought, I can't not have that. That's just so cool. So have a, have the train to go with the, the bus to go with the train. Kind of cool. Have it sitting at the crossing here. Yeah, it's one of those things that's like, what, 10 quid, 10, 15 quid. I thought you struggle to get a bus for that usually anyway. So I'll, uh, I'll pick them up. The one I would, one another one I would like is the Girls and Panzer one. Uh, and obviously, this is Girls and Panzer wrapped here. Um, but that one they want seventy eight pounds for, and I'm like, I'm not paying seventy eight pounds for an engaged bus. <laughs> I don't care what's on it. Unless it got hand delivered by persons unnamed. <laughs> You know, I ain't paying that. <laughs> so I left it without just, oh, no, don't worry, I don't apologise at all. But we think we've got it working. I don't know where, you, where we were when you left, but we think we've got it working now. But I've already got ideas for yet another Japanese layout, so now it's going to have to wait. This one's probably going to have to be one I collect bits of before and do at some point in the future, but... Um, 
mean, you've got all the stock, it's not like I've got stock. But it's, um, you can, I've actually found you can get bits for uh, Studio Gibbery. Gibbery? Gibbery? The one that got arson attacked. But they created things like Howl's Moving Castle, When the Wind Rises, Spirited Away, um, Porco Rosso. That sort of thing. You can actually buy paper craft buildings in 1 1 50th scale of some of the um, notable buildings and things from some of the series. Now, in Spirited Away, there is actually a train, which is pretty cool. It's fine. It's just I may have ordered a new toy. Ooh! What have you ordered? Was it the C-Class? Was it the C-Class, Simon? I can't blame you, sir. Awesome model. Have you ever used these One of the new wagons I brought is completely missing one coupling. Oh, blimey, that's, that's a shame. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Is it a Rapido? Do you, do you use Rapidos? That's not good on a brand new wagon. It's also an edge country if you think you can have that. That showed a new train to release. Not sure if it's for fun trips or regular service. Um, what colour was it, Kyle? And was it sort of this sort of style? Or. So, like, gen generally, generally, they release trains to go with routes. So, like, this is. I think this works up towards the mountains. Hence, the, the, it's known as like the wind rider or something like that. Um, I think it goes up, to, up into the mountains a bit. It might well be the C class. Oh. So when can I come and play trains for you? <laughs> I need to get something Japanese that's DCC fitted, don't I? So I can bring it and play trains. <laughs> One day, when we're allowed to, without doing any harm to each other. If you can, yeah, if you can recall what colours it was and what it may vaguely look like, I might have seen it. So I follow. My friends with a couple of people over there who are railway enthusiasts and also um, follow on Twitter, I'm acquainted with through via Twitter, I guess, if you like, uh, a few people who, uh, you know, who, they tend to be on the ball when it comes to new trains, so not too sure. I'll have a look for it again. I'll send you a YouTube. Yes, please. That'd be amazing, Kyle. That'd be absolutely amazing. No, it. As much as I like. I think I'm sorry, something up. No, no, it's like that. Um, as much as I love. Um, British trains, maybe, and the rest of it. The Japanese ones have just got me. They really have just got some power over me. And I don't want to resist it, I love it! I'm only using the standard Rapido, it would be the really easy shrimp couple of actually. Nice! And welcome back, Dale! And I'll re repeat my question to you, sir. How were the chili dogs? So I assume your disappearance means that uh, <laughs> it was uh, time to take the chili dogs away again. I mean, I absolutely would love to see that, Kyle. Um. That's one person's layout, so I'm seriously looking forward to playing on one day and um, taking one of my trains to run is my friend uh, Yukari's um, layout. She's building uh, pure, almost pure end of steam uh, in the 70s. Um, but the detail work she does to the locomotives is incredible. All on DC still as well. So you see that C11 tank engine sat there. If I put my, if I put the uh, the truck rubber, most people have seen a Pico truck rubber before. If I put that next to the cab, you can see how big it is comparatively. She's got lights in that, and a crew, and full. You know, when the lights come, when the light comes on, 
you can see all the detail inside. And she's done it to D fifty ones, C fifty sevens, C sixty twos. Oh, her layout is just it is a work of art. Okay, sent it. Just like a panel. Oh, nice. Right, let's have a let's have a look. Let's have a look. So I can't see trap for a moment, folks. I'm just going to have a look at this picture. Ah, it is the Panda Crucio. It is this one. Yes. Thank you very much, Kyle. Yes, it is the Panda Crucio then. Nice. They have just released it um, and they've added a panda. They have just released it now with a panda added to the peaking over the top of the the white bit, which this one doesn't have, and nor does the Kato one. And I'm hoping one of them does a a new a, 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 an update release. With the version of the Panda over the top, because I might have both. But I'm planning to get the K2 one as well, and can sort of do a comparison then between the two companies with, with the same model. I'm going to say, I, my Atomics one, I absolutely, absolutely love that thing. And I, I want, I said today earlier on, I'd actually like some more, some more Atomics stuff, you know. Um, they do some of the Kihas and, you know, the single unit cars and that, and that's what this line is perfect for. Thank you very much, Carl. I really appreciate it. that. That's awesome. That is really awesome. So, yes, so for those of you who weren't here a minute ago, um, there should be a new. So, so, package on the way which contains the shop to go here some houses to try out the sizing here or a house to try the sizing here and um, some more cars but these are Toyotas they're the ones coming in Nissans so it's another brand of car as well which is a bit better um, a new steam locomotive because reasons okay one two short guys you like it oh I loved it absolutely love it um, and yes, I believe, I believe that the, I believe that uh, they're, they're, they're one of the guys who's planning to go and chase it at some point and get some more pictures and things, so, yes, um, oh and some containers as well. Now these are for my container wagons, these. That's for, that's for these and rather than these green ones these are Ender Steam era containers um, I'm just going to pop those off because they do come off he says ok perhaps they don't on this one joy well, on the other one I know, I know for a fact they come off <laughs> So um, I'll replace the containers on the other one to make them JR to make them more new, just to give the new like new freight like, locus something to pull. But yes, so that's basically it. Is that something to look forward to? But the the steam locomotive is a C fifty. It's going to be the smallest real arrangement that I actually own. It'll be a two six zero. This is a two six four. Um, currently it shares being the smallest breed arrangement with the um, uh, 9600 class the um, C57 and the C59 they all share the 10 wheelers so, but yes, it's, it's a special one to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Cato. So, I look forward to that one with great anticipation. I've always wanted it because it's something special. 
but yeah. Right, what time are we on, guys? What time are we on? Yeah, I, I, I'd better finish up now. Um, I'm starting to get myself towards bed, so I've got a busy day ahead to me tomorrow. Going to work, posting that thing off, and then, you know, um, straightening up everything in here and making sure it's presentable for complete strangers to come in if it's TV, hopefully, it's that wall over there. I'm pretty sure it should go up alright. I mean, what TVs are quite like these days, aren't they? So. Yes, well, thank you for watching, everyone. Now, if you'd like me to do it again, uh, let me know in the comments underneath this video, or whatever in the comments you're typing in now. Then uh, I might consider doing another Facebook Live rather than YouTube. Now, if you see someone on YouTube, subscribe to your channel, Mickey the Moocher. That is me. Uh, this is a polite request. Please do not subscribe back. And if possible, don't spread about. I know I said in, I was announcing the stream earlier on, and I I owned up. But at the same point, you know, we won't spread it too far. I'm not returning to YouTube in that way. Uh, but this this Facebook page, this one we're on now, my profile on here will become the main point for, I'll try and make it a bit more active with updates on the layout and stuff like that in the occasional live maybe. Just so I've got a blog somewhere and you know, you guys can all see, see, I don't know, some of you actually got a vested, oh you've, you know, you've, you've got uh, an investment in, 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 an interest in it, in seeing it progress. Or oh, that's the other thing that's coming in the, in the set, is a complete new one of these stations. Because I can't find any of the accessories to go this end. I accidentally broke the lamp at this end. And I cannot remember what this cream paint was. So. Yes. Um, so it would be a complete new one here. So I'll take all these figures off at some point. But. Uh, yeah. And then this one would be spares. Yeah. So yeah. Now, uh, because I'm smooth, I can still think I best do the same. Got to break some service on the cover of cars. Of course. Excellent. Ah, thank you. And yes, good luck with your, your work tomorrow. Hopefully, you stay safe and everything. Either way, you want to show your stuff, it's fine by me. I've enjoyed your lives and talking to everyone. Yeah, thank you, Carl. I enjoyed talking with you as well. Um, and yes, this is Secure Adventure. Or Christopher saying sayonara. Thanks for watching folks, I do appreciate it.